Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on Windows Phone 8 for students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn mobile app development. This is part 8 in the series entitled Math Statements for Windows Phone 8 App Development using C Sharp. Before we make an app, we're going to discuss first data types, values conversion methods, and math operators and methods. The primitive data types in C Sharp are listed in the first column, while those of their equivalent in the .NET framework are in the second. You can use the .NET data types when you place using system namespace in the code behind. Listed here are some of the methods that you can use for values conversion. For example, if you're planning to convert a string value to an integer, you may use either the convert.in32 or the in32.parse. But if you want to convert a certain value to string, you can simply use the dot to string method. Here are the operators for multiplication, division, modular division, addition, and subtraction. The math methods are listed below. For our first activity, we will create an app that allows the user to enter a number and will display its half, double, and square values. In the main pages content panel, we will add a text box, a text block, and three buttons. Let's create a new project. Windows Phone, Windows App. Put it in Windows Phone 8, and this is App 8 1. Windows 8. Let's change our title panel values. Let's change this application to App 8 underscore 1 and our page name to Simple Math. Then click inside the content panel, go to toolbox. Uh, we need one text box, double click, one text block, double click, and three buttons, one, two, and three. Let's initially arrange our objects, our controls. We have these three buttons and the text block. Okay, let's start with our text box first. Let's name it the TBX1. Let's remove this uh, text. And uh, here's one thing. We need to make sure that he's going to be allowed to only enter numbers. So in the input scope, select number. Okay. Now for our text block, let's name it TBK1. Let's try to put some layout for our text block. We'll make it centered and the margin will make it zero. Margin to the left, I mean. Now the first button is a button one. Second is a button two. Uh, we need to change also the contents later. And then this button three. Let's select all our buttons and let's make all their horizontal alignment center and their left margin. Let's set it to zero. Okay, maybe we should also fix the the width to 150. Now let's change the contents of our buttons. The first one should be the button for the half. The second button is uh, the button for the double. That's the uh, times two of the value that will be entered in the text box. And the third is for the square. Okay. Before we make our events, let's try to look at how SAML added that property input scope. Remember the input scope. So selecting our text box there. So the property is still input scope and its value is number. So now our text box will only accept numeric values. Okay, now we're ready to create our event. Let's double click our first button. It's button one click. So uh, the result will be placed in text block one using the text property. And uh, to get the half, we need the, the, the value actually the text property from text box one. Now, as of now, there's no error, but if we try to divide it by two, you will see that there's an error. The error is because this is a string and we're trying to divide it by two. We're trying to make a math operation out of a string. 
So to solve this issue, we have to use the convert dot to method. For example, we'll convert uh, this that string to double. Okay. Okay. Now it's correct, but the, still the problem now is the whole thing. Uh, the whole thing is a problem because uh, this is now a number and we're trying to assign it to a string value, the string property. So we need to make this a string again. To do that, we'll enclose it in parentheses, press dot, and there's this two string method. Then we'll just include parentheses and class. Now let's go back to our main page and create a second event for our second button. It's almost the same as this one, so I'll just copy it, Control C. We'll try to get the double, so that means instead of dividing it by two, we'll simply multiply it. Let's go back again to our SAML and create our last event for our third button. It's almost again similar as this, so I'll just paste it, but we want to get the square. So to get the square, either we multiply this value to itself twice, uh, sorry, uh, just once, and another way is to simply make use of the math.pow method. And we'll enclose this converter to double. And the second argument will be two, so that means it's a square. And we'll just put another parenthesis there, and I think it's Kalas. So let's try to run it in our emulator. So there's our simple app. Let's try to enter a number. Get the half, the double, and the square. Good. For our second app, we will allow a user to enter two numbers and then we will compute their sum, product, and identify the smaller and higher number between the two. We will use four buttons for the four processes and a text block for the result. So let's create a new project. This time we're going to call it up 8 underscore 2. Okay. Okay. Let's change our title to up 8 when and our page name to math methods. Okay, so let's click the content panel toolbox. We need two text boxes, one, two, a text block, and four buttons, one, two, three, and four. Okay, now we'll try to move our buttons below. And also our text block. And the other text box. Okay, let's select both text box because we're going to make its input scope, their input scope number. Let's name our first text box to tbx1 and our text delete second text box is tbx2 and same the text delete our text block we're going to name it to tbk1 the first button will change the content and make it a sum the second button will change it to product. That's the result of multiplication. The third one is to get the smaller number between the two. And this, the last one is to get the higher between the two. We forgot to name our buttons. This is button four. This is button three. this button 2 and button 1 now we're ready to make the events double click our first button 
so the result again will be placed in a text block one in its text property we will continue with our operation we'll convert the string value this time let's let's use the double dot parse the double dot parse there and we're going to convert the content of text box one dot text okay we will add it to the double that parse of text box two dot text okay so we were able to add the two numbers this time we're going to convert it back to string that's it now let's go back to our main page create a second event for our second button wait there's an area here there there we need another closing here okay. control C control B this time it's going to be the product so this is a multiplication to get the smaller we'll simply use mat dot min method and we will compare this value from text box one and the second value from the text other text box and we'll just add another parenthesis let's go back again to our main page saml this is for our fourth button to get the higher value between the two so this time instead of mean we're going to use max that's it let's run it in our emulator okay so it's our app 7 second and let's put a 10 let's get the sum 17 product 70 smaller is 7 and higher is 10 so congratulations we just finished implementing uh, some of the math methods and math operators in C sharp for our uh, mobile app. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Masalama.